The G2 hit ends up at this A bomb site. Nico looking for any mistake. There's a crossfire here. Zaiwu can pounce at any moment with these duelies. There's the footstep. There's the early tag. The trap is not quite sprung. Hunter's got one as well. That's Apex to go down. Well, they're going to come for him right there. He's the only one there. This is going to be a little bit of an issue. Magus, though, he just clicks them away. Oh, he's leading them left and right. A third kill as well. And that's all on Nico. He yeah. gets blown up. Magus. What a beautiful way to get started. Oh, that's a way to rip the Pisseron out of their hands. G2 had everything they wanted. A split from ramp room from secret to the lower bomb site. They got all the initial kills. It's a four on one in this situation. And Magus delivers three stunning shots. Three clicks, three bullets, Jason, and three headshots. And I love it when Magus has those rounds because even he looks sometimes amazed at himself. Even he's still <laughs> surprised that he busted out. Quite an explosive play that's going to be coming out here. You could tell the way that they're set up. But on the other side, Dupree, ready to handle it. MP9's already slowed down, and that should be plenty enough. Just getting that early slowdown is the is the name of the game to try and stop that kind of an execute from coming out. So pretty well done. Double kill on him. Nobody defending ramp for Vitality. That's so rare. What is going on? Double push down below to get up to the secret stair. Sideways out here as well. That's a very different defense from what we're used to seeing. The Molotov's gonna slow them down a little bit from that double push, but I mean, you still gotta think this is this is something. There's two fighting outside and two in secret. Yeah. You'll, you'll never read this. You will never ever read this, especially the follow-up player. Man, Vitality shift over just to crunch on this outside Ooh. hit and make sure G2 have no space to work with. They've come with a few tricks up their sleeve, and it's looking good. JKS left in a 1v4, can't even get the first four to nothing for Vitality. The Vitality defense is going to have to scramble. Zaiwu comes right back down to recommit himself to this lower bomb site. Thought that might be the only one, and they're already at the double door. He's going to blow it open, but he's got to be cautious. Teammate paired up with him downstairs. That's Magus. Good pounce from him. Zaiwu's out in the open. What a conversion. Destroys Modesty and transfers over to Nico. And this defense is looking so strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get a sense of it there. Quad kill for Zaiwu, but those two kills... Just steps out into the open. Nico gonna be hopping down. Look at how quick he is. Opens it up and takes down Spinks. That's on top of the hut. But he will find the kill, Saibu. So at least it's a two for one trade. How do you do this? They're coming in from every angle. He realizes as well. Backup is gonna be called for, but it's gonna be a while here. Good spray from Apex, but they're coming for him really quick. A good double. That's unbelievable. Dupree. Maybe a little bit too quick now. It's on Saibu, one versus two, and he knew he had that fight isolated. That's actually really good thinking, right? If he can win the fight against Hunter, he knows where JK is because he just got the kill on Dupree. Imagine a world where I'm giving you unique tips and tricks about the game. On top of that, analyzing your demo. He flashes himself in. So hard to do that effectively. Very good. Always leading by example. Meanwhile, Skin Club is taking care of all that drip to make you look like a superstar. Very untraditional position to be all the way back here. Don't see that almost ever. Oh. JKS, he snuck in. Does he realize? Now he does. Sees the. Full face of him, but Hunter, yeah, you're not going to be checking this Apex. Good for that one. Nearly could have had the double. He's setting up for it. In fact, they're trying to get into the bomb side, and they will. 30 seconds. Still a three on three. As I say that, though, Monacy goes down. Meg is sneaking through. They know where both the CT players are, and the bomb is going to be planted. Oh, this is JKS's round. He's had so much impact. Blinded with one more. Cracked open the upper bomb site, pulled the teammate back, and he's done all the heavy lifting. And Apex, I think, is going to concede with that smoke down in his face. And should be able to take the swing here. Yeah, gotta be careful. Bomb right at his back, but he's gonna be fine. And that's why they're taking this long, deep breath. Finally, Meg is gonna go take a look at the ramp. He's gonna start to realize, yeah, summon him up the Molotov, but it pushes him forward and they weren't ready for it. That could have been a kill, and that could have been as well. Hunter just barely stays alive. Still no bomb plant, in spite of the fact that they've had this bomb site open for quite a while. Monacy. Slight gap shot to take down Apex, and it's right back into a three on three. The bomb is now finally being planted after a minute of waiting. Nade going to be going down, and that's lucky it's not on Hunter. He would have been dead behind that one. Saving some rifles could be important, and yeah, they're going to decide it isn't worth it. G2 
coming right back into this game. <laughs> Four in a row as Modesty no scope Spinks out of the round. The but man, they're not giving up easily here. Kind of peeks and goes for something and realizes it's just JKS. The game is up. They know where G2's going. Oh, Zaiwoo ripped straight off the roof. What a shot from Hunter. But now the rest of these advanced positions come into play. And now G2's heart sinks because they know they don't have lobby control. They know that Vitality has all the information. Yeah, you've been relegated to this tiny part of the map. They should know everything almost behind this. Spinks going to be moving up aggressively. Nobody sees it coming. Couple of bullets, even shooting their feet right now. Wow, what a beautiful round from Spinks. He's won it on his own at this point. Three kills and Hunter just alone. Yeah, he could try and do something, but it's not going to make a difference. Eight on the board for Vitality after a long break. He's not sure if someone's going to be flashed through, walking through, if they're going to be coming up secret. Again, there's been a lot of looks out there for Vitality, so I don't really blame him for being paranoid about it. Good timing on the Molotov. It's going to put a lot of damage into it. Look at this. JKS nearly burning alive. Oh, that's a but Hooksy, yeah, he still finds the opening hunters ready for the flank that was coming in. And it's a four versus three. Oh, they want to fight this. They want to challenge for ramp room. Sphinx gets taken down, tagged by a nade, and it's Hooksy to have impact. The opening kill in ramp room and a follow-up second frag, and it's all on Zywoo. But obviously, it feels good. Nico should have the advantage, and he will. Headshot onto Zaiwu. Fifth round on the board. This is such an important kill. With the Molotov damage that was done as well, as you kind of highlighted on JKS, took like 60 damage, and yeah, Dupree a little bit frustrated. Still in ramp due to the Molotov of his teammate as well. Either way, Vitality have done a really, really good job. G2, though, they're looking to recover a little bit of hope into the second half that's going to be coming up real soon. Hunter on the run, and it's actually Nico, his cousin on the other side, taking down Apex. And I don't know if I don't know if Apex would have spotted Hunter. This is so fast. There's a minute and 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> oh, you are so knocked out of your vitality. What an opening. What a cover. And look at the way it's all crumbling. You have no protocols to react to a ladder flank that fast. <laughs> it just got absolutely blown up. That's such a ridiculous round. Cyru now on a one versus four. And why not? Why not? You know, try and see if you can clutch it at the end. That would certainly crush G2. He's Silent. down below. They have no idea. It is the final drop. Oh my god. JKS and Monacy on the other side. He's gonna tap the bomb once. No kit, so this is gonna be even more difficult. It's nearly a two for one shot. Oh my god. He's gonna put up the smoke and try and tap it again. He's no clue where Monacy is. He just doesn't know. But now he does. <laughs> he finds the shot. And it is a ridiculous world-class clutch coming in from Saiwoo. That's why he's the best player in the world right now and that's why vitality is dangerous in paris g2 did enough to get back in the game and i mean that sixth round would have been absolutely spectacular of a half for them for how it started and oh it just slips away jks sticks around a little bit longer than he probably should have and almost gets caught but now he only has one option stand and fight he's got the first magus with the trade nico's here nico's arrived he's got a long line of sight apex goes hunting and doesn't find anything that he wants zywoo's waiting to peek towards mini but the duel he's up on top from monacy the young phenom has got another yeah, I agree. That was a long time for JKS to hang around. Towards ramp room to fall in, towards an upper split up heaven. That that just that crumbled. Although I suppose if they had if they had made their way through, then Saibu's play through mini would have been so much sicker, right? Because then that heaven player yes. or anyone on the bomb site would have to worry about it. So, so there's some logic behind it. And we're not really done yet. 25 seconds. Oh, Spinks, if he dies, the round is probably over right then and there. 20 seconds. He's setting up the counter flank. Yeah, you're right, wrong. He definitely is. Monacy, a little bit of an opening there, but still no bomb plant. They haven't really found an opening yet, and they're very low on health now. That bomb needs to be planted right now. Nine seconds and just charging on him. <laughs> Monacy, no mercy no whatsoever. There's no time for it. And Hooksy, he's realized good awareness. If he'd kept fighting, he could have died instead. And that's going to be the round for G2, a desperately needed pistol round. JKS, Hooksy, and Nico. Monacy is hit in the face by a smoke, going to throw it off. What a gap it's created. Oh, that is a flashbang, man. Monacy <laughs> sprays down three of them, <laughs> just creating an individual Herculean effort. And now he, Hooksy and Nico. Gonna go hunting towards secret. It's Magisk they'll have to attack into, holding for this kind of a push. Will he expect a second? He's thinking about it. 
Magus creeping on forward. Nico's right there, and he actually checks it. That's such a rare angle for somebody holding that third generator, but oh, they're starting to get there. And JKS is now just showing up at the ramp. Yeah, diffuse kit there, and there's one down below. They don't have anyone, and anyone's still alive here. Smoke is up, JKS. Trusting that no one's coming through, but actually they did. He's going to be getting the kill on Magus now. Quick on the Sphinx and eight seconds left. One versus one. Hunter's walking in right behind him. And the smoke is feeding Sphinx. He's got the perfect read. He trusts himself to get that second kill. Magus with the triple Sphinx with the double. Due to the early buy and the saved off, they can't have the AWP in this round. Monacy doesn't have the money, so Nico's going to step up and get aggressive, try and put a stop to any kind of outside play. He's at least made him nervous, at least made him think about the situation. I like this from Monacy, though, pushing in front of the smoke, trying to help out Nico. He had to do something, otherwise Nico was going to be alone out here. And look at the stopping power behind them. Two kills for Nico, one for Monacy. Spinks and Magis left, and now just save what you can here on the G2 side. Yeah, that could be some good information to play with. It's actually maybe what motivating him to go for this. He just sneaks on out, and he should have had that kill on Hooksy. That was actually really well played, but Hooksy finding his sixth kill. It's been a tough game for him individually. In a three on three, you said that, Jason, but um, you know what happens when you say those words. Side was stepping out into it. He's thinking about it. Oh, good spray, good damage. They gotta be real careful. And Dupree, he's down and out of the round. 30 seconds, the gun barrel showing. Hunter knows everything. He did enough already. Two versus one, Magisk. The only one that could kill the dreams of G2 here, and he's absolutely ready for it. Out to take the battle. Not sure what the second player is, but he had the right read. He definitely knows. Could he be walking up with a grenade in hand? That could have been an absolute nightmare, but JKS ready to take him down. Ooh, hold on. Nico's down the ladder. Now is a good time to go for it, although starting off with Monacy on that AWP, that's a grim beginning, and now they're just getting absolutely crossfired out of the round. Nico's back up out of the ladder. And Apex and Magus left. Yeah, you need you need that first fight to go your way. The stopping power on DWP just way too much. A flawless round. They absolutely desperately needed it. And now they can really get back into this game. Long time to be waiting and not getting anything for it. Dupree going to be the first victim. Monacy outside. They're looking for that kind of reaction, right? They're parked yeah. waiting for the reaction to like having secret control and so much silence on the map. Hunter delivered in this position earlier. It's Nico's turn. Oh, but Magisk just rips his head off. No one else is down low. Yeah, 30 seconds. The bomb is still not there. They're really, really slowed down. And they're not really sure they could switch this into something else. Look at Apex. He snuck onto the bomb side. He's trying to check everything. Hunter's going to find him instead. And now they're probably confirmed for it. They're going to go for the B-bomb side anyway. 19 seconds. Cyber with the one kill in return. Bomb is on the ground at the moment. There we go. Cyber's going to pick it up and try and see if he can get the bomb plant. One versus three. He's already stolen the round before. This one's probably even more impossible. He's boxed in right now. And he will get hunted down. They were coming at three angles at once. Hooksy, the one to pick up the kill. JKS over in ramp room. Monacy will be outside. They'll be slow to respond to this. The opening kill is everything right now. Vitality have to get the first crack into the bomb site. Oh, they're going to get shut down. A little bit of a labored spray. It's a good return. Sphinx is there for the one. But again, this is very slowed down. Do you want to recommit to this one? Lucky the bomb doesn't fall forward into the bomb site. That could have just as well happened. And Nico, <laughs> that is so aggressive. It's a classic move from Nico. Once he's feeling the game, we haven't even seen that yet. He knows it's the most unexpected play, right? Yeah. And he's got low HP. What a great advantage to take. I love Hunter's game in this round as well. Monacy's shifted in now. The bomb drops down the vents. Hunter falls, but nico has got it. You can see this has been a high-stress ga game for G2. These upper hits have not worked when Vitality's tried to bring him out in the past. They're going to knock on the door one more time. This is like smashing their head against a brick wall. This time they delay things. They let the counter utility burn and come in a little bit late. Hunter's turned. They're already in the bomb site. Hunter's exposed. Oh, he's taking a risk and he's out of ammunition. Monacy's here trying to hold this together. And it's a three on three. Important a couple of kills there. Hunter at least with the one. That does make a difference. Apex is on a flank, though. He's on a mission. Tech 9 to find him on a C. If he does, that would be it. He finds a r no rifle there. Just a knife out for Nico. But Monacy's going to be pretty quick, quick in the return, at the very least. And JKS, they would love to win this round. Losing six in a row. But this is slowed down. Like you said, they don't feel comfortable. They don't really want to be doing this. Bomber's going to be planted finally. It is being held. Spinks is right there. JKS just comes flying out. Explosive play, but it will not work. And Magus go on the other side. Finds the headshot onto Monacy. 
14 to th 13, Vitality finally back in action. And this time it's the little change of timing. It's Vitality throwing the upper execute utility and then waiting and pausing and not writing, or not running into the ready arms of G2's defense, waiting a couple extra seconds before swinging out wide. And that's when the defense got a little bit disorganized and a little discombobulated. And that might be for the best. If they got on vent, G2's in trouble. Yeah, that's true. They're thinking about it, but no, they're going to go for it instead. Three of them coming out, squeak door. Hunter's calling it in, saying, I need some backup right now, but he's not going to get there in time. Nobody on the high ground to help him. And he dies for absolutely nothing. Four versus three. Bomb planted. JKS, he's on a quick flank. Poopsie trying to get the jump down. This is going to be on JKS to try and hold on to it, and he can't even get the entry. Magus is just tearing them apart. And Monacy. I think that round, more than anything, just felt like Hunter alone in the bomb site. Hooksy and Monacy are kind of the players moving around the map, but neither of them were really committed. Both of them stuck up in heaven, so no one could provide support. And what a way to find an opening kill if you're Vitality. Threw the smoke off of his initial kill onto Apex. It's very, very oh, clean, that second kill. M4 on Hunter. What a oh. game. Here we go, Jason. They're not going to slow it down. Exploding out of that squeak door. Saiwu on the opening. Modesty, this is the rifle that's going to save them if ever. Apex and Dupree both go down, but they're instantly down the vent. They're trying to back on out. Modesty, he won't let them escape. Magus gets blown up as well. Three kills for the young sniper. And now it's on Saiwu and Spinks here. They're going to get the bomb plant. Another four on two. And Modesty's got the only kit. Keep your eye on where he falls. Yeah. That's essential. They are going to need that piece of utility. Saiwu just a shoulder, but he will take all of Hooksy down. Closes up the door again. And the pressure is on. They made their way far, so far back into this game. But they need this round desperately. Nice smoke towards the window. That's really going to push them down towards this side. Spinks and Saiwu both playing on the same side. And that in itself might be a bit of a mind game. They don't have any more smokes. That's disastrous. Molotov right on top of the bomb to slow them down even it. further. And now Saiwu's playing at the edge. He's going to come right for the smoke. They're not ready for it. He gets the kill and it's a cleanup. Vitality taking down G2 in a tremendous two versus four clutch. They've done it again. Another, and that's going to be the story of this. That's the conversation for G2 and a disappointing loss. A 1v4 to Zaiwu that he wins. A 4 on 2 early in the second half. A 4 on 2 late in the second half to close out the game. Vitality just had all the answers, and you saw the prowess of Zaiwu.